What's up guys, Lion Football here. Uh, welcome back to another episode. And today I have a review for you guys on the Vapor Fly Vapor Carbon Fly Cleats. Now these cleats are around $150 and I'll get to that in a minute why they're so expensive. So first of all, size 12 for my feet and I'm going to go over some of the benefits of these cleats compared to others. Which is why I have my Code Pro cleats here as well and I'll go over why I use both these pairs of cleats for different scenarios. So first of all, these cleats were around $150. These ones were around $90 and these ones use spikes as you can see. And these ones are just studs, uh, molded studs. And I'll go over some of the benefits and that kind of stuff. So first of all, as you can see, uh, these aren't uh, stock laces. I put these in myself just to give them so they're a little bit of my Colts colors. And these ones I just left because I only use them for practice. And the reason I only use them for practice is because with my really bad field, studs are an essential thing. So you can dig in the ground as a lineman and you want that. And you also want, because it's a pitted field, you want it nice and high on your ankle. Just so you don't sprain your ankles or anything like that. But I use my Vapor Carbons for games because these work awesome on turf, which I play on for games. And they're also, as you can see with the carbon fiber bottom of them, you can see they're really nice and light cleats, which I like. And I do a lot of pulling. So when you're doing sprint outs and stuff like that, you want really nice and light cleats, and they're low cut because like you want that when you're trying to sprint out. You don't want heavy, bulky cleats for when you're working on sprint out and stuff like that, and pulls and uh, that kind of stuff. So that's why I like these for games compared to these. Now, some of the benefits more of these is the padding in the back. So you can see in there, I'm not quite sure if it'll focus, right in here and here, it's super padded, which you really like on your ankle, it feels really comfortable. While these cleats, they have no padding on your ankle at all, which is a problem with them. And I'll go over why I switched to these Nikes. These don't look super used, because I haven't had them for super long. Now, these ones, another problem with these though, is the arch is not removable. So in these ones, I put in just my extra pair of my arch supports because I have flat feet like a lot of linemen out there. Well, where these ones, you cannot pull these out no matter how hard you try. And that's the problem with them. So um, these are so expensive because these are custom cleats. I bought them off my friend for $50 and you can see there's a little bit of use in there, in there, but I'm only using them for games so I'm not too concerned about how long they'll last me. They should last me for my last two seasons. And yeah, now the reason I switched over to Nike is I used to wear specifically Under Armour cleats. But here I have my Under Armour cleats and I took the spikes off them. But if you look in the back one, this padding is so worn down in the back that I actually really badly hurt my ankle this season. Just because that lack of padding and our field, it, it was just too much for my ankle to handle. And it kind of really messed up my ankle. And so that's why I wear only Nike cleats now. I hear Reebok are okay, but I'm not quite sure about that. And now I'll show you the difference on putting on these pairs of cleats um, and how they differ and how they're better and worse. Okay, so here I have practice sock, practice cleat, game sock, game cleat. So with these Nike Code Pros, you simply take it and you put it on like any normal cleat. Just like that on Titan laces, good to go. But with the Vapor Carbons, it has such a big loop because since it's tight like that, see how it's elastic, it's not uh, different, the tongue's a part of it. They can be more difficult to get on, which is why you have to wear a Vapor Crew sock. Because if you have a loose sock, it's a lot more difficult. Just get it, wiggle it, and Almost got it. And there we go. Takes not much longer to get on, but it's a super nice tight cleat. There's, it's really secure and all of it. And you're not really dependent on the laces to keep it tight. You could go no laces and this cleat would be perfectly tight. And yeah, and so just another benefit of this is you don't have to replace these. But as you can see, this spike right here is getting a lot more worn down than some of the other ones. So that's how it looks for me for a game. And there's usually padding along right here. 
but I don't have that, but there's enough padding in here where it's still super comfortable.